What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Taste the Blessings. I'm your man, Eat Money, and we're in for a treat. We got an Asian fusion going on today, downtown Baltimore. Right here at Ecubon. This has been a booming place in Baltimore for about seven years now. Started out with one location, this is the first one. Now they have two more locations that are constantly growing. So let's check them out. We got some good food to show you guys. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, your boy is ready, hungry, and you know how I get. I'm ready to die. <laughs> Let's get started, y'all. So I know I'm uh I know I'm a little dressed up today, but hey, you know what I'm saying? I clean up, I clean up a little bit, but uh, you know, had to take care of some business. Now it's time to dive into this food review. So I'm checking out Ecubon today, right here in Baltimore, Maryland. So I haven't been in some years, so Let's see if they still got it. They got some new items, so let's check them out. All right, y'all know how I do. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get comfortable. I'ma always keep it real with y'all. <laughs> so let's get loose. Like some of y'all, you know, you gotta unbuckle that belt a little bit. <laughs> we got a foodie experience here, guys. This is definitely an Asian-inspired fusion place, so yeah, I'm excited, guys. So let's see what we got first. First up, we got the spicy shrimp snack box. Yeah, let's check this out. Okay, I can definitely see the seasoning and the spices, guys. This is fried, battered, tempura type jumbo size shrimp. You can see all the spices, definitely see the seasoning, guys. There's a lot of love put into the shrimp. And that's one thing I definitely loved about this place in the beginning when I first found it out. A lot of home recipes, a lot of home seasonings, marinades. You're getting a lot of love come out of this local place right here, guys. So I definitely wanted to highlight it, put a spotlight on them. A lot of people know about it, but those that don't, trust me. You're gonna want to check this place out, so. Mmm, woo! This smells amazing, guys. Look at this shrimp. Covered every piece of this shrimp with all that flavor, loves, and spices. Look at that, guys. Jumbo shrimp. Let's check it out. Mmm. <laughs> okay, wow. The spice hits you right in the mouth like a punch. I like it, though. You know I love my spice. Mmm. Definitely fresh herbs and spices. Definitely got my taste buds jumping, guys. Look at that. Not stingy. They want to make sure you taste that heat. But it's not too overpowered. That's what I'm liking about it already. Mmm. I hear a crunch. Mmm. I love local businesses that always have those fresh ingredients, guys. It makes the quality of the food 10 times better. And that's why they've been doing so good here. Trust me, it's not just something you whip it, whip up together. Definitely something that takes a lot of good time and practice. Follow those recipes right to the very end. Look at this, guys. Not stingy. That's a big shrimp. Let's do one more. Mmm. You want to hear it? Mmm. Mmm. Got that tempura batter. It definitely uh, is very crispy. I'm liking this, guys. They definitely have a lot of different variations here. And for you vegan lovers, there's something here for you, too. They had tofu. Come on, now. I know y'all think I'd be like excluding y'all sometimes, but hey, they have vegan-friendly options here as well. Make sure y'all check them out. People are ordering that right behind me. They wanted that tofu, so it's definitely a good winner here. So if you want something different, you know, from the tofu that you've been having it before, I definitely recommend you try it here. On to the next. Mmm. Ooh, just like I remember. This is that tempura broth. This has so many variations of flavors in here. See the, the red onions, looks like cilantro. Definitely got a lot of flavors going in here, guys. So let's see if it tastes like I remember. Who wants some crispy broccoli? I know I do. <laughs> Get some of that crispy broccoli, y'all. Mm. Mm. Wow, 
Now that's some broccoli I can eat every day. But look what you get. See the tempura batter on the tip? Seasoned well, got a lot of flavor, a lot of fresh herbs and spices in here. How can you go wrong? Mmm, wow. Mmm, I haven't had this in so long, but the flavors are still there. I know sometimes you come here, you see the prices, but trust me, this is definitely a meal for two. So you can definitely split this with somebody. You know, you both get it like a sandwich and you want to get this, you can split it together. So trust me, guys, it's worth the money. Look at that, guys. Mmm. I ain't never had broccoli taste this good. <laughs> you know another place that got broccoli tasting this good, please let me know. If you've never had it, trust me, you need to come here. Try them out, y'all. On to the next. New item alert. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Telling you, this was something I just had to try, guys. This is a full cheesesteak egg roll. And this looks, this looks amazing. This is a nice, hefty sized egg roll. It definitely looks packed, definitely looks fried well. And talk about presentation, guys. Fresh vegetables on top, red onions and like a cabbage slaw right on top, guys. Presentation looks amazing. Look at that, guys. Looks amazing. Very pretty. Let's check it out. All right, y'all. Ooh, this is a hefty egg roll. Look at that. Got like a sauce in here, too. Let's check it out. Big bite gang. Wow, y'all see that? Pack well, got the cheese for the faux meat. Look at that, guys. I'm so glad I took a chance. Beautiful presentation. You know, so much flavor packed in here. I gotta go again. <laughs> I gotta go again, y'all. Do y'all see that? Should I go again? Come on, man. I think I should. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. What? Mmm. Wow, flavorful guys. Got my taste buds jumping. This is a flavor bomb. Talk about umami, umami. <laughs> this is amazing guys. I highly recommend the faux cheesesteak egg roll. I might have to finish this one, man. I, <laughs> I don't know if I can put this one back. Mm. Just the one, <laughs> just the one. On to the next. All right, time to cleanse the palate. They have this black tea. I definitely wanted to try out. Ooh. This is fire, y'all. I recommend trying this one out. Very light, not over sugary. Definitely tastes homemade. So, big ups to y'all on this. Also wanted to try this one too. They said it was a popular one. I believe he said it was either lemonade or tastes like lemonade. So, let's check it out. Yeah, it's lemonade, that's good. This is a great lemonade drink right here, guys. So I definitely recommend you try this one. Good blend, it's light, definitely homemade. I can taste the fresh lemons out of this. This is good. <laughs> All right, we got more. On to the next. This is one of the classics right here. The steam bun with the fried chicken. So today I tried it in the spicy version. I always used to get the mild. Telling you guys, you gotta try this out, trust me. Try this out. You talking about chicken sandwich. Have you ever had a chicken sandwich like this? Big piece of chicken. It's got the steam bun sauce. It got the pickles on here. A little bit of lettuce. Let's go. Look at the press back on that steam bun. All right, haven't had this in a while. Let's see if they still got it. Based off of looks, they definitely still got it. Hardest part is gonna be picking this up. All right, I got it done. All right, y'all. Y'all know what I'm about to say. If you're new here and you didn't know what I was about to say, trust me. <laughs> Stay locked in, y'all. Make sure you subscribe. Big bite gang. Yeah. Those that know, know. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You know what you make that face? This is fire, y'all. Just like I remembered. I didn't try the spicy version, but I'm glad I did this time. It's not too spicy, but it's just a good kick of what I was looking for. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Meaty piece of chicken, fried to perfection. Definitely flavorful. I can tell it's marinated. The pickles are definitely cutting through the acidity with the spice. Come on, guys. And that steamed bun. Next level. All right, y'all. Gotta try this again. Look at that piece. We getting that piece right there, y'all. Mmm. 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 Flavor bomb, y'all. Trust me, y'all, get it spicy. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's not too overpowering, but it's just enough kick through everything to give you the extra punch that you need out of this sandwich. 
But if you can't handle the spice, get the mild. <laughs> it's okay. I know it's levels to it, but spicy lovers, get the spice. Thank me later. On to the next, guys. We got another new foodie alert. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't here the last time I was here, guys, so I could not wait to check this out. We got another steamed bun sandwich option, and this is the chili pork right here, guys, so definitely you want to check this out. Let's see if it tops the chicken sandwich, guys. These steamed buns, game changers. I'm telling you. Who else is doing it like this, guys? I don't know. If you know, let me know, but this one is such a unique item that I have not seen anywhere else. The way they do it, I have not seen anywhere else. That's what makes you stand out from other people, guys. Trust me. Look at that, guys. Can you see that? Talk about a lot of love, guys. And as a close-up of the pork, the chili pork, I can tell the marinade. I cooked two guys, so trust me, I know. That, that is marinated right there. A lot of flavor. So uh, let's check it out by itself first. See what kind of flavor I'm about to get. Ooh, talk about tender love, guys. Do you see that? What? All right, let's try it out. Mmm, come on, man. Wow. Talk about tender, guys. <laughs> it's almost like a pot roast. I can taste the flavors going through this thing. Marinated, they put a lot of juice with it. Look at this, guys. Look at that love. Beautiful. All that sauce and sopped up at the bottom of that bun. It's about to be a good bite. All right, y'all. What I'm about to say. Yeah, there you go. Now you catching on, now you getting it. Big bite, dang. Mmm, wow. Mmm, very flavorful. A lot of love put into this. Marinade, the juices, the seasonings, really comes through strong in this. Mmm, mm. for my meat lovers, not really into chicken, definitely I recommend trying this out, guys. And they not stingy. You're getting your money's worth. There's so much flavor in the sauce. Tender pieces of meat. Look at this, guys. Ooh, do you see the juices? Look at that, guys. Tender. I know you see it. Mmm. <laughs> it's so tender. Mmm. I don't even need teeth to eat this. Tender. Tender, y'all. All right, y'all, I definitely hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, happy Foodie Friday to you guys. Appreciate you guys checking in, showing me love and support, keeping up with the channel. Let's keep this foodie community growing, guys. I love it. I love that you're a part of this journey with me. I'm doing this for you guys. If you have a place that you want me to check out, please drop it in the comments, let me know. Let's keep going on this food journey together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't do it without y'all. If y'all know more food buddies, make sure you share it to them. Don't be stingy. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't do that. <laughs> I want them to see it too. Come on now. <laughs> share it with your friends. Share it with your family. If you know more food buddies, co-workers, tell them about Taste the Blessings. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and share. And I appreciate you guys, for real. Definitely appreciate you. I'm feeling the love over here. Y'all keep me going. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay consistent for y'all. I appreciate it. But like I always say, guys, if you make one step, God makes two. And just like that, your blessings will come to you. And we out.